What's up, fellas? It's Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL football player, Houston Texans, New Orleans Saint. Now I'm helping you guys out. Make sure you watch all the videos. Make sure you watch all the videos. You're going to get better, just naturally, if you just watch all of them. Of course, do when you do and you apply the information, you're going to exponentially get better, okay? Um, email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. We got the training programs, mind and body, to get you elite. You definitely need that. Hit me up. And then recruiting information, make sure you email me. If you want to get recruited to go play college football, student athlete, right, email me. Put recruited in the subject line, and then I'll get you the information uh, next week. So right now it's February 10th, and I'll get that to you next week. All right. So thank you, Andre, for sending me this film because I've been looking for it, and I couldn't find it. This is old school, uh, shoot, 1980s, 1980s, um, what is it, Denver Broncos with uh, DB 101s, okay? So you're going to, this is some good film, man. So I want to show you. The reason why I want to show you this one is I want to show you, uh, what's the dude's name? Hold on, give me one second. Steve Wilson, okay, Steve Wilson in this. Yeah, that's his name. Steve Wilson, you can look him up, Google him. He played some time in the NFL and uh, for the Dallas Cowboys and the Denver Broncos. And you're going to see him in this film. But watch, he does the kick step. So I want a lot of people ask me about the kick step. Now, I have videos showing the kick step, but I want to show you some other guys doing it too. Richard Sherman, the tall guys usually like to do it, right? So let's, let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and mute this out. And let's get into it. So one-on-ones. So this is Randy Robbins first. So he just did a kick step inside foot. So here's what you're going to see. It's inside kick step. It doesn't have to be too far. It's just something you can do with your feet, man. Because look, all it's about eyes, feet, hands, right? So eyes are going to be right here. Inside kick step. And it's inside. It looks like he's inside shade. Let's watch it again. Now you want to make sure you don't get that much separation. So you want to get still get that shuffle in. Don't hop. So Randy Robbins hopped right there, and his eyes are kind of bad, and he gets scored on. But I'm waiting for Steve Wilson to pop. There you go, this is Steve Wilson. Now look, you want to be careful of shooting two hands because that's when it, it gets your hips locked. So inside kick step. There you go. Good job, good job. So I want to show you that one again. Inside kick step. No, that's not the, that's the same one. Hold on. So a lot of guys have been asking me about the kick step. This is one of the first techniques I actually learned from David Brown in, in Ohio. See that? Bam. Squeeze. Now, you saw how you did a good job on that squeeze? Another inside kick step. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And he's undercutting the comeback. He's taking more risks, which is cool. All right, so let's watch that one that he got caught on. So look, sometimes they're going to, this is good to practice, guys. Sometimes they're going to be off the ball. So you need to practice this. Right here, you just need to be patient. You can do different techniques. You definitely don't want a soft shoe right here because then it turns into a back pedal and then you're screwed, all right? Right here, you want to be patient. You can kick step. You can buzz your feet. Usually, buzzing your feet works best when he's off like this, because then it's just like when you're doing this. It's almost like when you're doing the uh, the uh, what do you call the technique? You know, the buzz your feet, like the settle the set of your feet or blitz feet. So let's see what he does. So he kind of opens the gate, and that'll be good. I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques that uh, Steve Wilson uses, especially for so, all right, so right here, the only time you really want, want to do that is if you're playing like a cover two man corner where you you got to take away the inside. So let me go back to that. Where you got to take away the inside, cover two man. But you don't want to just hop in there. You still want to maintain your leverage and stay square as long as possible. All right. So right here, outside kick step. So this is another one that Sherm, Richard Sherman likes to do. So Richard Sherman, sometimes he'll do inside shade with the outside kick step, okay? So basically he's taking away, 
taking away a leverage with his body position, but still having his kick step to the outside. Because naturally, when you kick step, you know, uh, it's like your momentum is kind of going that way. So you see what I'm saying? So you take away the inside. I say you take away the inside, but you 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 shade inside to kind of take away uh, uh, with your body position, your alignment, and then you still do the outside kick step. So let's watch that right here. You see that? Squeeze, though. He needs to squeeze a little bit more on this, Steve Wilson. Let's shoot through. Notice he didn't swipe. He... Oh, that's a good one right here. Notice he didn't swipe. So you guys got to be students of the game, man. Look at all this, man. You got filmed for 1980s, bro. That's when I was born. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so he's taking away the inside with his alignment, his position, and he's doing an outside kick step, okay? Right there, he kind of split his feet a little bit, which is dangerous. Make sure you don't split your feet. Let's watch this. I think he did it right here. I think outside kick step. Now he's he's being really aggressive on that um undercutting the comeback. Hey. And you know, if you don't take no risk, you ain't gonna never make no plays. Good job right here. Inside. But you know what? He's very similar to Richard Sherman. If you watch Richard Sherman, Richard Sherman is extremely aggressive on uh out there on the outside. Like sometimes I feel like Richard Sherman looked back a little bit too early when he leans and locates. But that's the outside kick step when he lines up inside shade. Remember, inside shade doesn't mean like he can just have a just a straight open go, right? Inside shade just means you split his eye. So his inside eye will split the middle of your feet, okay? Let's see what he does. Same thing. Nice. Inside shade. Oh, he hopped his feet. It's a bad habit. Squeeze. He needs to squeeze more. Squeeze. All right, so on this one, good head whip. Good head whip. That's how you remember this, guys. I learned this from Kevin Mathis. The ability, two things on this on this play. The ability to recover is the cornerback and or defensive back's greatest asset. You got to be able to recover. So your feet going to have to be good. You're going to have to have a good technique. So when you get got, you can recover. You can head whip and get back to the guy and still make the play. And notice he's not swiping. Notice he's striking through. All right, so watch this one, okay? Oh, on this one also, stretch your – I usually do this with my guys. I stand up, I stand right in front of them and have them stretch their arms out. Okay? Stretch your arms out and then touch, like touch his shoulders. The the receiver should never be closer than that to you. So what happens is this receiver kind of gets in his chest. Can't let that happen, okay? Watch this. See that? Can't let that guy get in your chest. All right? And don't just put your arms out there, strike. It's a violent strike. But good head whip. Strike through. Woo. Oh, don't get caught. Don't get caught. Uh, <laughs> they try to uh, get him on that snap. Be ready. Always be ready. Inside kick step. Inside shade. Nice. Read the hips. Finish the play. Be careful. You still look. Always tell my guys. Oh, wow. Always tell my guys. Um... At least have a hand on him, right? Cause look, if if the in in a real life game, if if the receiver or the quarterback starts to scramble, you have to plaster to your man. You have to plaster to him. Well, if you're looking back at the quarterback, now he's on him. So look, he's not doing wrong, you know. But at least have a hand so you can kind of feel him if he goes the other way, right? So you looking back at the quarterback because you're in perfect position, right? Have a hand on him so he doesn't – because I'm telling you, Wes Welker, Wes Welker doesn't stop on a play. I want to see. I want to show you this play. Wes Welker doesn't stop on a play. You feel me? So you're going to have to have a hand and feel where he's going because he's not just running the route and just stopping. I'm telling you, Wes Welker, if you watch film of Wes Welker, man, this dude's like – he's like a pinball machine, man. He doesn't stop. And that's why he was really good for Tom Brady. All right. So looks like – I think we're – yeah. We're inside shade. I think he's going to do outside kick stuff. Let's see. 
No, it's, eh, I don't like that one. That's more like a cover two man one. Oh, he got him right here. Uh, strike through. Good job, Steve Wilson. Outside kick step. That is perfect. This is what I used to do when I was in college. I would do inside kick step or outside kick step. I didn't I I didn't really get good at the other uh techniques until I went to prom you. I learned a lot of I learned a lot from Dion. Man, this is textbook kick step right here. And he rolled up on him. So look, he rolled up on him. So I always tell you guys, just don't get in there and just show your cards. Don't just show your cards to people. Man, make him think a little bit. So move around. So act like you're going to play off, then come up and press. Act like you're going to press, then play off. Act like you're going to jump jam him. And then when he thinks that you're going to be passive, be aggressive. When he thinks you're going to be aggressive, be passive. Read the book, The Art of War. All right. Textbook kick step. Uh-huh. Get, oh. What's up? Give me that pick. Ah, get that ball out. Okay, we, all right, all right. All right, so look, look, look. Look, I got y'all right here. So this is good job. This is an outside kick step. Bam. Now look, you see how you widen them out? Now look. Right here, if you can't make the pick, then Strike through with the left hand because the left arm is going to be longer than the right arm. And then look, if you miss with the left arm, you can still grab him and make the tackle. You understand what I'm saying? But if you go with the right arm for the breakup, you got to be right because if you miss, it's touchdown. But, man, I got to show this. Steve Wilson. Shout out to Steve Wilson for this, man. Shout out to Steve Wilson, guys. Y'all can learn a lot from these older cats, man. Let's watch it again. This is textbook. I'm going to end it on this one. This is how you play, fellas. 18, he must be a rook. He must be a rook with his old vet going to show you what's up. Uh, look at that. That's about five yards on the outside. Good job. All right. Make sure you guys hit me up. Oh, he got it. <laughs> he got it right there. Steve Wilson balling out there. Hey, make sure you guys hit me up on Gmail if you're trying to get recruited, man. Everybody who watches the video, if you play football in high school, I know you're trying to get recruited. So make sure you hit me up. Just shoot me a message with this uh, in the subject line that says uh, recruited, recruited or recruiting, whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to say. Just let me know. Get the programs. Got to get better, man. You got to get better. Look, Steve Wilson, 60 years old. I think he's still alive. Man, he never forget these times, man, but it took hard work. It did take hard work, and it took smart work, and then make it look easy. That's how you know you're the master, all right? Hit me up, guys. Peace.